Welcome to Final Punchline, a long-form dad joke podcast season one. Episode five is titled A Hole in One. It's written by Ryan Stevens and narrated by Michelle Liliatan. Final Punchline's audio engineer is Patrick Sokol and is produced and directed by June Yoon. Final Punchline's available on Apple and finalpunchline.com. Now sit back, relax, and listen for the final punchline. Nina St. Clair was a golf mastermind. She was a prodigy of the putting green, worshipped every time she stepped up to the tee. She wielded a nine iron as if she were a knight of King Arthur's round table. She made golf into a sport people cared about, even though she made the game extremely predictable. Wearing her signature two pairs of pants, a hat pulled over her cold green eyes, and with a single leather glove on her right hand, Nina St. Clair was the idol of every golf fan who swore their chosen sport was more than just a waste of money and land. Country clubs already engorged with one percenter surplus income ballooned even further as countless people with disposable income desired to be like Nina. Nina St. Clair, golfing, had an air of inevitability. When she raised her club mid-swing, spectators would swear they could already see the arc of the ball in the air, its journey to the hole a predestined one. She was a machine built for one purpose, play golf. If she had literally been a machine, her makers would have wept. As she was a human being, her parents, her makers, in a sense, wept. For surely such talent could not have been inherited from them, two mere mortals. Every parent wishes for their kid to grow up and be successful. Mr. and Mrs. St. Clair's kid had grown up to be a god. In interviews, Nina was difficult to crack. She would talk about her youth and her training regimens with the bored politeness of a substitute teacher fielding questions about her personal life from children. She'd give enough to fulfill the question, but not so much that the interviewer felt eager to continue. She was living on Golfer Olympus, where no mortal would dare tread. Crucial to her strategy was St. Clair's peculiar choice in fashion while hitting the links. She always wore two pairs of pants. It was at first a bit of a scandal. Commissioners and PGA officials had to weigh in and consult one another to see if such peculiar pantaloon preferences. After a lengthy deliberation, Nina St. Clair won the right to wear whatever she darn well pleased. The commissioner of the PGA was quoted saying, "When a golfer plays as well as Nina St. Clair." They can go golfing in a cartoon chicken costume for all I care. Nina declined to wear a cartoon chicken costume. Two pairs of pants was fine for her. Inevitably, there came the questions of the two pairs of pants. Nina would always be asked, "Why do you wear two pairs of pants while golfing?" And she would always answer with a quick sigh, a polite, tight-lipped smile, and give her consistent answer: "You need to allow a professional her secrets. You might call it superstition, or you might even call it a setback for other golfers. But for me, the second pair is the only way to play." Saint Clair's eldest daughter, Elizabeth Saint Clair, finally revealed the truth years after Nina passed away from elective tooth surgery. Why did she do it? A reporter asked Elizabeth. Why did your mother wear two pairs of pants while golfing? She needed a second pair of pants. Elizabeth answered, remembering her long gone mother, in case she ever got a hole in one. This has been Final Punchline. Thank you for listening. Please visit our website at finalpunchline.com. We'll be back next week 